everybody i hope you're all doing well so i am just off to physio and funnily enough my hip is actually feeling really quite jazzy feels really quite great i will not lie to you but however as i said Losing track on which video I said what, we're just, we're merging all into one. It's currently Thursday morning, so God knows what video this is going to be in. However, it's more my calf and Achilles that has been sore at the moment because my running technique has changed slightly. I'm used to heel strike quite significantly. That's crazy because I think I was looking at the time for that. And the pace for that 12 hour event is like running four, is it four, three hours? That's always what I've done and that's just how I felt running with my hip and what felt easiest. Since I've changed my running technique and my hip hasn't been as bad, praying does not get any worse. Um, don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Oh, she's lost the trail of thought. What the hell was I saying? I've got, got foggy brain. <sighs> right, I'm just gonna, pretend genuinely i can't remember what i just said like two seconds ago however okay we move on from that yeah so my calves and achilles are tight and then the left hand side of my shin which feels really quite intense and when i did my intervals this morning so i did 11k and it was 15 minutes easy heart rate around 149 and then it was 15 minutes intervals as one minute hard one minute easy i literally thought my heart was gonna pop out my chest today i don't know why i don't know why actually had a really anxious week guys my anxiety has been um, really bad. I have gone back to therapy. I love a bit of therapy. I just feel like at the moment, this point in my life, I get very stressed. There's a lot of pressure that I feel personally. And I kind of know the reason why my chest was so tight running. I could really, really feel like all in my back. So today in physio, I'm gonna get neck release, mid back, and then just that left-hand side of my shin and also my calf and Achilles. Hi everyone. So I didn't end up filming physio just because I was so in the element. I was getting my calf and Achilles done is new to me because they're never usually sore. We didn't actually work on the hip today, which is insane for me. Just something that I need to just also share on YouTube and share with you guys. So I'm a hybrid athlete. I'm doing a lot of miles, kilometers and five, four or five weight sessions. I have lost weight unintentionally. Um, Ben had said yesterday that I'm looking a bit slim and also my physio who I've not seen in a couple of weeks because I had the consultation in between for about two and a half weeks had also said that I'm looking slim. For me it's really hard to absorb that information because I, it's unintentional, it's not I, the, it's the last thing I want to do the last thing I want to do is lose any weight, drop any body fat, I want to maintain my muscle so I'm just going to reassess my calories quite a lot because I'm already eating in a surplus plus i'm already eating a lot but i'm obviously not eating enough yeah it's just sometimes it's quite hard to hear from obviously my partner who is my absolute world but then hearing it like a second opinion as well that switched something in my mind a little bit that i know i need to eat more oh yeah it's made me feel a bit like emotional to be honest because it's very unintentional and if you guys have been on my youtube channel for a while you know i came from a background history of an eating disorder that i had for around three and a half years so for me it's the last it's just there's some like emotional connection to like losing a significant amount of weight and people being able to tell so yeah that all yeah that is going to be assessed okay i've just got home to my new chairs plural two they've sent me one chair they've sent me one chair one chair they said did you did you check the box that there was two you can just fit in two chairs oh what a cock up will not lie though it's absolutely gorgeous so i've got two of these i just need to put the legs on because these black legs cream it's the vibe it's the vibe cute Right, you honestly couldn't write it. Excuse the hair. I've just had to shove it out my face for a second because I've just re-rang really cult furniture where I've got them from. The chairs are beautiful. I will not lie. They are absolutely stunning. I ordered black legs. Can you guess what they sent me? Golden? Golden legs. They're the wrong colour legs and you sent me one, not two. But yeah, it's basically... I updated everyone on our Chester homepage 2021, which is my Instagram home account. So you can feel free to go and follow that. What a shitstorm. I literally just... 
made the yummiest bowl of pasta ever and I just completely didn't show you. I'll insert an image instead because I took an image. It's quarter past two. I feel like I need a coffee. I'm actually trying to cut down on coffee a little bit because I don't have ridiculous amounts but because I have quite a few knockos as well and not all in the same day. I just want to be like mindful of my caffeine intake but I just feel shattered today so we are having a coffee. Also on the shattered thing like lack of energy down to the fact that I haven't in my head been eating enough or eating what I should have been eating so here we are with the milky milky coffee. I'm basically now doing some of my client check-ins. I'm so not. Can you tell how unused to vlogging I am because I've not done it in freaking so long. It was like my thing when I was at uni. I have lots of client check-ins to do so I'm going to crack on with those and then me and Ben are speaking at Performex this weekend. I'm going to take you along. I'm putting some almond butter on it. You can use code Lucy D for a discount on my protein. Lucy D. Lucy D. So I decided to have a bath because I just feel a little bit sore. I think I'm sore after physio. I have popped this in the bath. This, which is great. Lovely. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Just got my yogurt bowl before bed. Absolutely delicious. Good morning everybody, I hope you're all doing well. So it is Friday morning, around 7.40, doing a aerobic run this morning. I'm not sure how far yet. I'd usually probably do 18, but I need to do a bit of upper body. And also we're off to London today for Performex, so I don't have as much time. But yeah, beautiful day, gorgeous day. Average heart rate, 146. I feel like it's quite easy today, but because I did the marathon on Sunday, so what, five days ago, and I ran Tuesday, Thursday, I do feel a little bit not as relaxed as usual, but it's good to be on my feet. In hindsight, I don't think a longer run, longish, was ideal today because my calf and Achilles are really sore from physio, so it's not the one. are at crew it's chester's crew cruise london because we can't get a direct train anymore but we are off to performex we are speaking on the saturday it's probably babe what are you saying well it's cute bad, is it? look at that little headboard thing this is nice views of scaffolding cute room things first essential choice of biscuits me and ben always have one of each then we both get to try mm, 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 mm. I am ready. So we are off to our friend Sunny's event tonight. It's his app launch and it's super exciting. That is also at Tobacco Dock. So we're going to walk there now, go via prep because I need to get some food. This is the outfit of choice. So this is the Gymshark new Adapt Fleck. And I think this is the training top. And then just my chile. Yeah, very excited. Need to come get some food though because when you travel, it's a little bit harder. But because I'm eating so much at the moment, I can kind of just kind of, kind of just kind of get whatever I need to get. On to Prep Manger, got a Pickle, cheese, and red onion baguette thing. Ginger shot, because always ginger shot. A burger muesli, and then also just this little chocolate coconut thing. I'm not 100% sure if we've got dinner or not, and I don't want to risk not having something. So if there's no dinner, I'll get stuff on the way back as well. But yum. This is a great time. This is delicious. Completed it. Delicious. I didn't actually like that at all. This was like, in, there was like I didn't think there was any sugar in it. I don't. It just tasted not great. Completely raw natural. It's definitely a shoe off of there. This is a shoe, it's a shoe this is off. Shoe off of it. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you This is very, very exciting. I'll leave the link for Sunny's app. Do you have a link? Yes. There we it's go. It's live on the app store. Oh, it's live on the app manual. store. Mobility manual. And we're in this sick event. Look at this. You're going to be feeding this down the back of the car. <laughs> We've just got back to the hotel. We nipped into Sainsbury's and I've just picked up basically a bedtime snack. So I've got Alpro yogurt, peanut butter, blueberries, banana, and then some mixed nuts. <laughs> I'm just going to have them in this bougie jar. Stunning. It's actually like half the pot. Lovely. Good morning, everybody. It is quarter to eight from Sunny London. We are off to train. We've just found a pure gym. So we've just bought day passes and we're going to go and hit up a body.
but just got some breakfast this does not look good as it tastes it's honestly amazing there you go you can see it in a better light so this is the second half we've got like pss, what's that called again salami chicken herbs mozzarella onion tasty hello you're, you're on my weekly vlog oh, i like that hello you're lucy davis's weekly vlog i am here at performex with the wonderful lucy davis i'm talking about mental health just got myself another coffee because i'm literally don't know why i feel so freaking tired I'm pushing on about 45,000 members. Being very heavily on social media, but also I'm in the digital space for the fitness industry. Everyone saw it boom. Home equipment, everything increased. And because so many people were training at home with our app, what we basically had to do was quickly just change everything to home workouts. So we just worked so, so very hard on bringing out home programs. So we have just finished our talk and it was awesome. It was so freaking busy. I think that's probably the biggest talk we've ever done. Do you believe? Do you think that was the best talk, bu busiest talk we've best ever talk, done? Yeah, yeah. Best and busiest. Diving into these absolutely delicious cookies, honestly. They taste insane. Look at that behavior. And I think we're maybe going for like a Nando's. We are off for Nando's. Super excited. See you there. That little thing <laughs> looks like nougat. Hummus. 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 This is the most calorific thing on the here we are with the Nando's order. A pizza, lemon and herb, cheese and pineapple, peronese, mash, peas, and then the girls have got absolutely great food. And then Dr. Mike's in there. <laughs> so I always want something sweet after my main meal. Oh, so I've got banana saurine. Going on a run this morning, guys. I'm actually not sure how far I'm gonna go. I, st I think I'm still pretty wrecked from the marathon. I've done 30k so far this week and I just don't know what I'm gonna do. Like I think this week should have been a little bit more of a taper. People usually do marathons and they take like a week off. I have not done that. And all day yesterday, obviously we were speaking, so we were on our feet the whole day. A lot of excitement. Yeah, I want to show you these. These are the Injininji toe socks, which I've been recommended because my toes are pretty mashed from the amount of running that I've been doing. Hilarious. Look at my little toe socks. I've not worn toe socks since it's about six and they were fashionable and trendy and they had stripes on and it's just a lot of that isn't it one outfit ready oakley solomon gym shark gym shark nikes in dingy toe socks So, heart rate is at 139, zone two, chilling. We were just saying it's quite weird running around London because there's so many points you have to stop, but it's quite nice to uh, run in a different place. It's a little bit of sightseeing. Well, George run, we're going pretty, pretty slow, pretty steady. Look at all the beautiful sights. 15K done and dusted, but it was a fucking well annoying run. My Garmin was so out. Ben Strava covered like 16.6 .6 and my, I don't know if it's like the tall buildings or something. It was just super frustrating. But I just ended up going off heart rate. Heart rate was an average of 142, which was super chilled. It was hitting like 127 on some parts as well. So that is wonderful. We are ready. Really quick turnaround, actually. We literally got ready in like 20 minutes, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Swept my balls off. So we're going to go and find somewhere for brunch. Sausages, take bacon, hash browns, avocado, mushrooms, egg, beans. It's Monday morning. I am currently sipping on my knocko can on the way to the gym with Ben and I'm hitting hamstring and glutes. I'm going to show you a little bit. I'm probably not going to show you that much today. Monday is definitely a lot of meetings, the My Coach Call app, catching up, podcast talks, social talks, everything like that. I might show you a little bit. Not 100%, but yeah, I'll show you a little bit of my workout. But I can see if you're right here next to me, something's wrong. Wasn't it fun? Is it now we're Tell me to confess And you tell me to confess Oh
Tuesday, hope you're all doing well. So I am off to the gym this morning, doing upper body rehab, a little bit of maybe uphill walk on the treadmill. And I'll just, I'll just show you a little bit. Again, I've got a knocko can. We're filming, we, I say myself and Kyle are filming an ad today for Hoka, which is a running shoe, super exciting. And I'll take you with us. We can't go back, this is all we need. Follow me to make believe and make your dreams come true. This night means forever and so does me and you. We say we love. We this morning not showing you every bit of my workout because then the vlog would be so freaking long but it's been a really enjoyable session I've got a lot of editing to do like a lot of editing to do today got a campaign to film with Hoka we're excited about and then planning stuff for the next MCS challenge I'll leave links below for all this shit all this information because it's so freaking exciting hello everybody we oh Cal people haven't said hi hello Cal's in the vlog nice to see the new camera we yeah the new camera is great we are filming a campaign for Hoka and I'm really excited excited because the shoes are so comfy I can't even explain I'm gonna do my all my runs in them this week I'm gonna test them by also running a marathon which is a actually I'm doing 40k not a marathon but it basically is yeah great times so I don't know how much you're gonna see I might just insert the clips here in terms of what we film and what's for the campaign completed it awesome awesome <laughs> Little walk around Chester, having an aero. It's a lovely day, isn't it? Lovely day, nice and fresh. Yeah, vibes. Sunny vibes. This is Chester. It's really beautiful. These are the Chester walls. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, and it's probably the last day I'm going to film this week vlog because it is hella freaking long. Just in the gym this morning, I'm training glutes, glutes isolation. It's always on a Wednesday. Beautiful weather, so we're going to hit my steps. We're also filming the campaign today for the next MCS challenge, which is the Transform 8 Week Challenge. Super, super freaking excellent. Excited. the gym just decided to get a breakfast wrap because i'm just absolutely starving so we're going straight to the <laughs> we're going straight to film some of the ads now in the first location for the app shoot but yeah yum this is like look at that all the deliciousness hobbits is here you can't even cope with this ad that we're filming for the uh, next My Coach Girl Challenge. I'll leave a link below. Uh, spot reducing fat, bullshit. It's very exciting. We've got Fruit Man over here. Got a lot of camera setups going on. And we're in a school sports hall. But I'm actually going to love you and leave you here. <laughs> Look at this little friend. I'm going to love you and leave you here because this vlog has been amazing. It's been a full week of training, my life, everything, huge update, eating, everything like that. If you enjoyed this video and want more, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next one.